There it goes. The last rays of the sun. There it is. Goodbye, sun. Thank you for a beautiful day. Hello there, and welcome to the best camp spot of my life. As you can see, I had this piece of paradise all to myself, just the way I like it. Let me tell you how I got here. It's a cool story. I really like to ride my bike. I've actually never owned a car. I pedal everywhere I go. In the winter, the summer, in the rain, alone, and with friends. Yeah! I simply love exploring the world on two wheels. Cycling gives me a sense of freedom like nothing else. An open road leading into the great unknown is my favorite place to be. Riding a bike makes me feel like a kid again. It makes me feel alive. It's life at 15 miles an hour, and it's the perfect speed to take in all the beauty of the world. You see this amazing sunset? You see this amazing life? It's a good day. It's a very good day. All right, back to that epic cliffside camp. This is the Baja Peninsula, a desolate sliver of land on the west coast of Mexico. I got a taste for the isolated beauty of Baja years ago when I pedaled down the main highway. It's really quiet out here. Not much going on. It's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning in Baja. This time, however, I wanted to challenge myself on the off-road Baja Divide route. This meandering network of back roads zigzags all the way down the peninsula, beginning in Tecate, yep, that's where the beer is from, down to the southern tip about 1,700 miles. All right, Mike, this is your first bike tour. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be challenging, we're gonna have a great time. The number one rule is to have fun. You ready for that? I'm totally ready for that. All right, we're gonna do that. I think I can do that. Number two rule is to eat a lot of beans. Mm -hmm. My friend Mike came along for the journey because it's always more fun to suffer with a buddy. Okay, so this is hard. <laughs> Lots of uphill. Yeah, bike is heavy. We're making progress, we're moving forward, right, Michael? Yeah, boy. Together, we set off into the unknown, and after only a handful of miles, we were in the middle of nowhere, taking in the beauty of the Baja backcountry. Traffic jam. <laughs> the dogs love Mike. Whoa, look at this guy. Very camouflaged, but look at this little guy right on the trail. See you later. Tell your buddies not to bite us tonight when we're sleeping. Frijoles. The best burrito in the world. I give you the sunset burrito. Let's get a howl, Mike. I don't know if I'm howling. Come on, you can do it. Dig deep. You got this. Oh! Hey, there you go. That was, one. That was pretty good for your first time ever howling. Every single day, we were treated to unimaginable beauty. Mother Nature definitely deserves a standing ovation for creating all this. I'm a landlocked Colorado boy, and anytime I'm near a large body of water, I get very excited. Life is beautiful! The contrast of the deep blues and the stark brown landscape was mind-blowing. My favorite part of each day was after sunset resting on the desert floor and looking up at the heavens. Come on, come on, come on. This is seriously the most brutal bike route I have ever done or heard of in my life. At times, the riding was extremely difficult and it took all I had to get up the steep mountains. Pushing and slipping up. The steep road. Wow. Hi, Shadow. How you doing, bud? I'm tired too. It's cool. Come on, come on, come on. I actually liked going uphill, though. It was way better than getting thrashed on the washboards. It's impossible to get into a groove and pedal, and you're just like bopping around and everything's shaking. And... 
Ah, uh, Sand, it's you again! But my true nemesis was Sand. Let's go! Uh, Jesus, come on, man! Uh. Riding through deep sand just plain sucks. Let's go. Remember, Ryan, you chose to do this. This is your idea of a dream vacation. <laughs> Wherever I go, this kid right here goes. Tu eres mi amigo, no? Like with any challenging adventure, the hard times led to some magical moments. <laughs> and just like any good parade, they throw out candy. That kid just... Gracias, amigo! <laughs> he just gave me this lollipop. Mexico gets a bad rap for being dangerous, but I've never had a problem. Quite the opposite, actually. She just gave me a cold Coke, and they're like, come, eat with us, here we go. So, this is Mexico, this is why I love it. Everybody here is just so generous and open, and they just welcome me into their family. I've been all over the world, and Mexicans are some of the nicest people on the planet. I ended up only pedaling for two weeks. My goal was to get to the southern tip, but that just didn't happen. Stomach issues, horrible saddle sores, and extreme exhaustion did me in. I'm seriously having one of those why am I out here right now moments. This experience was humbling. It was really hard. I usually don't get defeated, but life doesn't always go as planned. In fact, most of the time it doesn't. And that's what makes it exciting. Some days were great, and some days were pure hell. Jeez, I am not moving fast. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I pushed my body to new heights. I fell more in love with Mexico. I got to be outside all day, every day, pedaling my bike, breathing fresh air, sleeping under the stars, listening to the crashing waves, howling oh. at the moon, oh. admiring golden sunsets, and experiencing the absolute best of Mother Nature. I'm proud with what I accomplished and grateful for this opportunity. And you know what? I'll be back for more another day.